Today, I'm going to talk about three ways a story can change your life. Learn there's a connection. There's a connection with stories. Um, and the connection is not always selling you things. You know, connection could be a motivation for you to, to change your life and, and, and convert over to Christianity or whatever religion you decide to be in. The connection could be between you and the person. Because I, re I recall when I was a child, my great-grandmother raised me and my sister. Like, my great, just to give you a timeline, when I was born, my great grandmother was 74 years old and she was taking care of a baby, right? At five months, okay? She was a strong woman, okay? She is the reason why um, I keep going, no matter what the outlook is. There's something inside of me that keep, gives me a nudge and say, Jackie, you can, you, can, you can keep going. You can get up from there. You do not have to quit. Um, but anyway, I remember being a, a kid, I might have been seven, eight, ten, whatever, watching soap operas. Like my my I don't know if any of y'all watch soap operas, but my great grandmother used to watch soap operas. She used to watch all uh, my children, one like to live, general hospital. Now these went on all after she had watched like Good Morning America, the little game shows, uh the the pyramid and stuff after all the the prices right because she loved her some bob barker may he rest in peace but she used to watch uh soap opera she would watch it tv for hours and i would sit and i was amazed that she used to let me sit in the room and she'd be engaged in that like she didn't move for hours she would just sit there eating her lunch uh, drinking her tea or drinking her soft drink, whatever, you know, she decided to drink that day and spend hours and hours. And, and I would sit there with her. Now, and although time has went by and I cannot tell you what the line was, like what was going on on General Hospital at the time or what was going on at on uh, All My Children and One Life to Live, live. But what I can tell you, there was a connection between me and my great grandmother. There was quality time. I saw her as the, the light of my world, so to speak. Because the thing about story, stories can change your life because story creates a connection. It can create a connection between the speaker and the audience or the audience members. And in that case of the soap opera, we were both audience members and I had a connection with my great grandmother because we, we watched many shows. That wasn't the only show. I mean, there was Rockwood, Rockwood Files and my uh, great grandmother used to love Highway to Heaven because she thought that man was cute. I was like, she was always talking about how cute he was. I mean, she liked him even when he was on, I think he was on that show, Bonanza. Can y'all relate? Listen, if you heard any, if you remember any of these shows, I cannot be the only one who familiar with any of these shows. Listen, drop in the comments of any of the shows that I just dropped names that you recall, that you remember or your experience with the show, whether you like the character or whether you hated a character, something that you found funny, it caused a reaction. So it caused, see, the thing about the connection with the story, it can build like, know, and trust. It builds community. It builds a relationship. That connection that continues for from for many years to come, the people that we loved on TV, we built a connection watching them on TV. So we tune to them weekly just to catch a glimpse of what's going on with the story. Another thing is, is that one of the reasons why I started taking my business, like I mentioned, and I started focusing more on the story as I found now 
I'm just basing it. At, these are just percentages. Like 90% of the people who have came to me, who have asked me to assist them or have referred me to someone did it because they found value in the information that I give. That I give. Um, so with a story, the value you find stories can change your life because stories can give you value in people, places, and things. It can give you value or, or value in the things that I try to teach you. Uh, it can bring that. It can bring you to a place where you're no longer in that that dark zone, that that area of limbo, that area where where you don't know what to do. Okay, because um, I've been there, being in the dark places, being in the shadow. That's not fun. You know, I don't believe that God had uh, created you to stay in that shadow. I know life be life, and sometimes, but you know what? One thing he did, he said in his word that you can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthen you. That means that somewhere there's a solution to your problem. There's some type of resolve. You know, maybe the answer to the question that you're solving have not been asked to the right person. Maybe there's something that needs to be moved out the way so you can see it. Because sometimes we can't see what's in the forest because of the trees, because we haven't gotten to the forest yet. So we find we can find value. That value can change our life. I literally come on social media and I talk about how I when I was coming out of depression and stuff, that it wasn't anything but God to say, hey, Jackie, you got to fight. You got to uh, do more than just believe that you can come out of the situation that you're in. And that's the reason why I cling on to that story in John chapter five, when it talked about the man in Bethesda. And I've told this story many, many times, but the most important thing about this story is that he was in a place where people were getting healing and he stayed stagnant. He stayed stagnant. He was, he was crippled. He stayed in his bed and he watched everybody else getting delivered and i believe that i was that person because i believe that de deliverance was is was is and was and has always been possible but what i was like that man at that particular time i didn't believe it was for me and the bible story in john chapter 5 doesn't talk about the the way the man believed but it does say that people would get into the water the, the angel of the Lord would come and stir the water and the people would get in the water and they were healed. And for him to be in that place, being that he wasn't born by that lake, he had to believe that there was power in that water, that deliverance was possible. Maybe not for him, but for, but for somebody because he would not have been there. So when you find value to something, it brings you from a one place to another. In this story, when I talk about the crippled man, it brought him to the place, to the lake, to the body of water in Bethesda where the angel stirred the water. Now, hello, how are you doing? Now, it was up to him to make a decision to find value in it for him. Because when you look at that scripture in John chapter five, Jesus answered, asked him, will he be made whole? And he came up. Now, this is the generation X, Jackie version, if you want to know where, the, where it say these exact words. He said, I would, but Junebug and them would not pick me up and put me in the water. So I just laid here and wait. In order for him in that story to be delivered, he had to believe that deliverance was possible for him. When I was suffering in depression, and I believed that there was deliverance was possible for other people. But for me, Jackie McKeever, to come out of depression, I had to have, 
I had to believe that there was value in me, that I was worthy to be ill. I was worthy to stop being in darkness and come up into the light and be who God called me to be. I had to find value in people, places, and things. I had to find the value for me. And that's one of the things why I say that this is the second way that a story can change your life because the first way is a story can create a connection. The second way is a story can, can create value. Now, the third way, the third way that a story can change your life, just like it's changed my life, it's one of the reasons why I love books and I love stories and I love to learn and I love to teach. Stories can cause action. Now there's nothing more impactful on a person's life than action. So it reminded me when I was writing this, um, my outline, because I do have the outline and this is what I look down just to make sure that I, I capture the point. It's I'm reminded of the, the story uh, that Will Smith did. And it's called The Pursuit of Happiness. Now the Pursuit of Happiness is a movie that was based on the real life story of Chris Gardner. So if for those of you who never watched that movie, I'm going to give you a, a, a little tidbit, a little uh, preview of how the story went. It's a really good movie. Now, when I came across that movie, I had no intention on watching that movie that day. But during that time of that movie, I was, I was feeling so sad. I had took a test in my I was in nursing I took a test that caused me to fail nursing and I was feeling mighty low I was crying I was like God I was working so hard why come I cannot do this I changed my schedule I'm working hard I'm believing why Lord why am I failing to pass this nursing thing. I'm working so hard because I want, um, I want my my children to have a better life. I want to be a provider. I want this. I want that. I want that. I don't understand. God, I need your guidance. And I came across the movie. So I said, well, right now, God, I'm not feeling happy, but I need to find some happiness. Maybe there's a message that you will have for me. So I went into the movie, especially since I like Will Smith. Okay. So I found out that the movie was about Chris Gardner. And for those of you who don't know who Chris Gardner is, I'm gonna tell you a brief about his story. So during his story, he was evicted. He was a married man that had a preschooler. Now, in the, in the movie, his son, Jaden, played his son in the movie. But in the real life story of Chris Gardner, he, he was a married man. He, he lived his life. He didn't have his father. So he was determined if he ever had children, he would not let anything stop him from being the father that he desired he, to have and never had. to his children. So during the story, he got evicted from his apartment. He, his wife left him. She said she couldn't keep starting all over. She couldn't keep going through all this stuff with him. She couldn't do it no more. So she left him and she went to go live with a relative. And so here he was, it was just him and his son. He was raising his son and he ended up evicted. He done already lost his wife and now he's evicted. They homeless. He's crying. He don't know what he's going to do. He's struggling, trying to figure out how can he look for a job when he got this kid, okay? He, so he went and he made a deal and he talked and the 
and the daycare person saw him struggling and knew that he was by himself trying to take care of his child. But I believe that the reason why the woman helped him in the movie is, is God found favor. She agreed to help him keep the kids while he looked for work. So then he came across this person and he thought he was, while he was struggling on trying to make things, make things work, okay, tragedy hit again. He found out that the job that he had was actually an internship that he had to go through the training, take a test, and then interview, and maybe you'll get the job. And that hurt him. He was like, I'm on borrowed time. How am I supposed to make ends meet? I can't give away my child. I, can't not, I cannot not be in my son's life. So things began to look up as he found another bone scanner. And that allowed him to take him and his son and maybe put a little bit in the daycare park, uh, pocket so that he can provide and make ends meet. He rolled up his sleeve because he knew this was gonna take some action. This is gonna take a, a faith that he had never that he has never used before. He had to roll up his sleeves and come up with some type of strategy to, to do what he need to do to push him to limits he's never been before because he had to study. He had to take care of his son. He had to make sure that they had a place to stay and he had to win that spot. Now, of those of you who've seen the movie, y'all know how it ends. But the reason why I gave that story is that stories can change your life by causing you action. Now, listen to that story. When I was watching that story, I wiped my tears. Now, there were some sad parts in the stories. Of course, I was still crying. I was crying, praying, and watching the movie. But after that movie, the action it caused me is to try again, to believe again. Yes, that may be a no in that direction, but guess what? I'm still breathing. It was a closed door, but it wasn't the end. It wasn't the end. So it caused me to believe that I can do it again. I can continue on the path of applying my faith, applying strategy, and creating these actions for change, to impact, to, to connect to customers, okay? to connect to people, to connect to customers, to build like note and trust and community, to uh, create value, to create a platform that provides people with value. This is your Kel Gold. Okay, let me help you achieve that goal. Let me push you and get you to be where you desire to be. A story will cause action. And speaking of action, I'm hosting a storytelling masterclass. In the story uh in the storytelling masterclass, I give valuable information that truth be told, you should be paying 5 600 for. But it's coming to you absolutely free. Absolutely free on October the 6th. I'm going to put the link in the, in the description and below for you to sign up. This is a storytelling masterclass where we're going to talk about how to uh, connect with your ideal uh, customer, how to use story, leverage story to 
build value for that customer and how to get them to buy. We're going to go over uh, selling and much, much more in this class. So if you're interested in this class or you want to learn more about the class, go to www.jackiemckeever forward slash links. The link will be in the description and below. And if you're watching this on one of my other platforms, it's in the bio too. Grab your seats.